change the date to the 10th. There we go. Hi, so, um, I'd like to do Roaring Twenties Neon Mood Palette. And it's just, this was like, ooh, wow, wow, I was so psyched when I opened this one. Okay, so, I have to do VR later, so I'm not going to put on foundation again, but, um, shoot, what did I do with my primer? Oh, I put it over here. Whoops, right, so my Milani Rose Primer. I love to start with this. I already put on the SPF. Oh, it just smells so good. The whole rose collection. The Milani. It's a really good um, aromatherapy to start with. And then I'm going to put on some Ulta eyeshadow primer. Let's drop the cap. So I was using some of these other ones earlier, and I was seeing they weren't ma making it easy to blend. Wow, so this, this tube's almost empty, it seems. Well, and this is also to protect me, to protect my eyelids from the neon colors so that they don't stain. Because I want to use some of these really beautiful neons. Okay. This is a dark purple, a dark sparkly grape called Featured. As much as I love purple and pink together, I also love purple and orange together. And there's some serious orange in here. Oh, so many beautiful colors. It's hard to pick which one to be the, the, um, the crease. I'll choose this fuchsia called Glitz. I still want to know about the job of naming eyeshadows and lipsticks and nail polishes. Um, what is the name of that job? <laughs> I think I'd be really good at it. It's fun. Well, and that's also what helps palettes have themes and sometimes just the names alone along with the colors of course are enough to make me say yeah I like the vibe there I get it just by the names that they have because they're a lot of them are you know inside joke kind of things or just cultural references or bad puns
Okay, now there's this insane orange called Sparks. I just have to try it. I mean, it's like the equivalent of Fanta. Fanta orange is a little bit of gold flux in it. Oh yeah, I think this is when I'm going to have to go back to that little trick about the um, setting spray. So just a second, let me try that. Because this is just coat one, but then to really get the full neonness, let's take a wet and wild primer, face mist. So I'm going to spray it on the applicator. And coat two is definitely stronger. Well, now there's this insane pink called Power Surge, so let's see how that goes. So I was just catching up with um, some of the 90 Day Fiancé stuff. Sorry, my neighbor's being crazy today. Um, and I, I just have to say again, why don't people like Julia, why aren't they... If she's so excited to get her green card and work, why isn't she studying English to, like, really be competent to read, write, and speak English in a job? I mean, if I were her, that'd be exactly what I'd be doing, and why she's not doing it. I mean, why nobody seems like anybody on this show is ever actually studying a language, and I just don't get it. I mean, I love... I love languages. I love studying languages. What is wrong with them? And when I lived in France, I, it would never occur to me to expect other people to speak my language. Wow, okay, so I, I pretty much shredded this applicator. I'm getting it wet. Now I'm going to use the Alexis Stone Transformation Palette for the highlighter. There's a really beautiful pink gold and I mean, pink silver in here. one of these things where it's in the light shifting you can't see it unless you shift your head right
Well, that was one of my main takeaways. Well, the Americans are absolutely just as bad, if not worse, about that. Because way more of the the people, you know, coming over speak English than any of the Americans speaking the language um, that go in the other direction. I don't think anybody has that. Okay, so there's this color called Cheers. I'm going to use in the corner here. Rose gold with multicolored sparkle. Well, there's a lot more colors to explore in here. I'm going to keep this handy. I still have a couple that haven't seen the light yet at all yet, so I have to get to those. So now I need some eyeliner. Quite a bit of fallout. Well, I, oh, one of the things I'm excited to try is there's new setting sprays coming out with SPF in them. What a great idea. But most of them are SPF 30, and really, why waste your time with that? You should go stronger. You should go at least 50, 45, 50. But then I was told that anything over 50 is like pretty much then you're wasting your money for stuff that's 100 because 50 is plenty and 100 is like apparently, you know, not very distinguishable from 50 as far as effect. I mean, that's just from, from from some different things I've read. I can't think of the, of the article to point to right this second, but you should definitely do your own research about your own skin care. I just pass on bits and pieces that apply in my experience. But there's also other ones that 
I mean, some of these couples are so boring, I can't even, I just fast forward, and I guess it's better to not specifically diss them, but, you know, just, obviously there's some people, some people will like better than others. Um, I need some glitter. I'm going to go into this Dare to Be Great Bomb AF and get some of the fierce glitter out of here. It's this pink blue color. Oh, I gotta just remember it's here and not scratch at it. more to come with that and then now so I'm going to try using the another Elizabeth Arden this light springy pink it's a little lighter than I usually like but let me see if I put another color under it And that's Revolution Pro. And then now, this is Arden. Well, that's an interesting hybrid color. <laughs> Okay, hey, that's that's it. that's it for today, and I'm still waiting for a very overdue package from Ipsy. So hopefully that'll come later today. Tomorrow I'm getting my second vaccine. Yay! If you haven't signed up, get your vaccines. And thanks for being there. Please follow and bring your friends. Over and out, Cosmic Queen Nature. Wishing you a fabulous day in hot pink glitter.